Virgo, how you doing? <laughs> Back on. Um, it's general reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. If you're new to the channel, hi. Happy to have you here. Come into the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I promise I'll come back around tonight and say hello back. Uh, pulled your Oracle card. Crazy Mr. Man over there, that's Leo, came in and stepped on my pad and knocked out the, 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 the video. But, the, but the, the card is so good, so I don't want to get rid of it. And I had already read it through the guidebook and everything. So the card I pulled is from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. In keeping with the fact that we're still in Lion's Gate, um, I, I'm going to go back through what I just said. I did a reading for Ly Lion's Gate. It was a bonus reading. It's still available, so go watch that. And um, what you got here was Temple of Truth. And it's for the throat chakra, authenticity, and self-expression. And I want to read it again, since he's on a bit of a tear right now. Um, acting out, and if I have to, I'll, I'll move him upstairs. But I, I'm, you know, most days he's been better. Uh, today he's in a mood. So this is what it says. When you are brought to this space, you are being reminded of the importance of your identity and your self-expression in this lifetime. Acknowledging who you are, who you have been, and who you are becoming is so important to the unfoldment of your path. There's an old story that the truth hurts. This gateway reminds you that in fact, the truth heals. Your truth is your truth, and it's important for you to honor it with every facet of your being. This isn't the first incarnation in which you have felt the importance of honesty and authenticity, but it may be the first in which you have had the full freedom of expression. This gateway is coming to you today. This gateway coming to you today is a message that there is something buried deep inside you that you haven't expressed, and this is causing energetic blockages on your ever unfolding path. It is a time to love yourself enough to honor the feelings that are rising up in you for they are divine guidance that will bring you into greater alignment. And before I was so rudely interrupted by my feline friend, I was saying that my first spiritual awakening um, that did occur on or very close to 8-8, um, I was feeling a lot of restriction. I was doing a lot of throat clearing. I was talking, my throat was very raspy. I was very timid. I was feeling like I couldn't speak up for myself or I wasn't speaking up for myself, which was out of character for me, you might imagine. Um, and it was devastating. I felt so blocked in so many ways. I couldn't find my voice. I, um, it was it was a full six months of that. So as I pulled the card, I was telling that story, and then when I read it out loud, I kind of teared up because it's exactly as I recall. So this temple of truth is very purely about um, not not making yourself smaller allowing anything that feels like it's constricting in your throat or you feeling like i don't i don't know my voice i can't find my voice it, it, it's a signpost it, there's a gateway you're being pushed through it's very important that you keep pushing through this is important it's part of your awakening or your ascension to a next highest timeline right either way we there's more than one awakening just i mean some people are under the impression that there's only one there are many okay so i'm pulling the twin flame soulmate spread for those who are just um entering this series for the first time I'll pull the cards, I'll give you my general impressions. We'll let the details provide, the clarifiers provide the details. Here we go. Hmm. 
Interesting. Um, the energy between you here, surrounding a Queen of Wands kind of an energy. Let me get some other cards out first. Aha. Yes. Um, Queen of Wands to me, if it's your shared energy in this connection, feels, you know, I often talk about her as the leader. Um, she definitely embodies a lot of power. Uh, with the little black cat at her feet. She's got this inner source of magic. Um, she's very mystical. And there's something here. She's Aries, right? And Aries is embodied action and power. But there's a way it's different than, let's say, the tower. This is this is Mars, right? Which rules Aries. This is, um, Aries is ruled by Mars. There's different, there's like a softer touch here. There's something that I'm feeling in your shared energy that, that is about taking action, but kind of coming about it from a little bit of a more nuanced approach. So I'm not seeing the Queen of Wands as a person. I'm seeing it as how you access a more nuanced approach with your, the, your action, your passion for each other. Because where you're at right now with this connection, Nine of Cups, there's something here about some wish fulfillment, but there could also be a little bit of um, an energy that you're focused on with regard to some complacency. Maybe some concern about it, maybe some a sense of, right? Like nobody's taken, this person isn't taking action or nothing's happening. And where your person is at, and of course you can flip the energies around if you need to. Um, where your person is at, we've got the Page of Swords. It's like they're looking for some information here. Um, page of Swords, all the pages are messengers, but the Page of Swords is all, often looking for information first before, you know that game telephone, right? <laughs> and what the message ends up being isn't anything related to where it started. So this person's sort of looking for some information um, to get some clarity in the situation. There's a little spy detective energy behind it. In your karmic challenge, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah. Con uh, Leo, oh my God, the cat today of all days. Sorry about that, Virgo. Five of Cups in your karmic challenge. It's about the regrets of the past and the mistakes of the past, sure. But there's also some sorrow here. Um, a real sense of something that may have slipped through your fingers. Um, profound sense of something that may have been lost to you once upon a time. And your person's karmic challenge. Whew, um, everything that has fallen apart. Um, that wasn't sustainable, maybe a tower moment from the past. And you may be seeing this person as complacent, not having taken any action. And they may be wondering like what you're up to. This could be from a while ago. This could be like, you might not have even seen each other for a while. For many of you, remember it's a general reading, so you're gonna have to take it as it resonates. The, the, the opportunity here is there's, there's like something that you can't take forward with you on this journey anymore um, as, as um, divine counterparts. There's something that you, from it that you have to leave behind. You got out of it, what you needed to, whatever lessons have been learned, but there's still more to come. There's still more to come on this path, provided you can leave the ish behind that's what i'm getting because the divine guidance is there may be a triumphant homecoming yet to come there may be an opportunity for peace and reconciliation here okay so 
Let's see where the clarifiers take us. And you know, we're dealing with the temple of truth here, so um, let's see where this takes us. Queen of Wands, Devil, Fool, Knight of Cups. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I like seeing the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Cups. I always like seeing love and romance. I mean, yeah, like, not love and romance. Um, what am I saying? Like, um, passion and romance. I like to see that together. This right here. That's what I meant. But there's still some negative karma that we sort of have to leapfrog beyond. There are some fears that I feel you're, uh, there's something in the room. <laughs> okay, This is like the elephant in the room that nobody's talking about. And it's going to take some risk. There is some risk involved here to get beyond whatever that energy is. Because if we have to take some action, it's a calculated risk to get beyond whatever is so ugly here. So um, I'm not even going to say... What I'm getting from the devil energy is that whatever happened here is what can't, it, it has to be left behind. I mean, it already probably sent you in opposite directions, but that was then, and I'm getting a message that it, 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 it's done, that's then. And there's some opportunity ahead of you. Because I'm reading for twin flames, soulmates, however you label it. And there's this moment where we have some action energy and there's some um, magical, mystical quality that's maybe telling you it's all systems go, but it's like you have to leap over the flaming river. <laughs> you, know? you can't get sucked in to where all the goblins and the. It's I'm really envisioning because this is like, and then there's the Prince Charming. I'm almost like it's something out of Hogwarts. Is kind of how it's coming through. Does that make sense? Like, I'm seeing something fantastical here. Harry Potter-ish, even. And it... And I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to dumb it down. I'm trying to say... That you're not done. But the demon still lurks. And I'm not sure it's within either of you. I think it's, it's its own entity. But you may in fact be ready to get beyond it. Let's continue. For you, Nine of Cups. You may be looking at what you perceived to have been complacency. You may be seeing something differently. You may be having a moment of insight here as the divine feminine going, wait a minute. So maybe this person wasn't okay with the way things were. Maybe they weren't being complacent at all. Right? This is like, yeah, there was a very painful ending here. But I, I think you're kind of, you're having this moment of epiphany. You're having, or some kind of insight is reaching you or, or new way of, of seeing this situation. You're, look, you're looking at it differently. Hey, 
Page of Swords for your person. They've got some new curiosity, maybe. Queen of Pentacles. Chariot. Wheel of Fortune. So if you're if you're dealing with someone who when this tower thing happened was married that's the entity that's only for those of you who are go how could she know that right if that is what the situation is or was they're about to bust a move they're curious about what you're up to. They're about to bust a move if they haven't already. But they are now very openly making a move that they feel it's the divine time, the time. But they're curious, right? They're looking for some information possibly about you. If there was, if they were never married, then you are the queen of pentacles. Then you are that home base uh, that they're curious about. Either way, they're curious about you. But what I'm saying is I'm still trying to connect something with that devil energy that I do not think is, is within either of you, but it was involving or kind of consuming the connection. It kind of swallowed it up and spit it out. And you perceived this person as maybe being complacent and therefore killing your wish fulfillment. But now, Ace of Swords. Maybe having some insight and, oh, aha moment of some sort at the same time that your person is like, hmm, curious as this sense of divine timing, fate and destiny arising within them and like, ready to bust forth. So your karmic challenge, five of cups. Ten of cups, death card, lovers. We could have had it all. This is your karmic challenge. Could have had it all, but we lost everything. Because they didn't choose us. They didn't choose us. So your karmic challenge is living in the past. Still lamenting the past. What was lost to you? And what I mean by a karmic challenge is right? Your truth is your truth. Yes. But once you face that truth, uh, you have to find the path for it to be healing. So it doesn't keep, you know, you're not dying the death of a thousand cuts that you purge that, um, that you release it and walk away from that, meaning you leave that behind because that was then and this is now and there may be new opportunities and you're not alone because your person's karmic challenge is that tower aha it's in the way of this six of wands it's in the way of their return <laughs> right 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 because they know you're going to say what the ever loving f was that what in heck was that Wow. I love when y'all talk to each other through me. <laughs> this, is, this is like the most socializing I have. This feels like exactly what I was seeing when I first laid down the cards is they can't put anything past you. Um, so there's a struggle for them. That's why they're so curious. What's up with you? Because they know they have something really, um, they know they have to answer for something here. 
They know they have to answer for something. Um, make peace around it. Reconcile it. Um, it, it brought whatever happened, uh, created a lot of devastation, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of loss. And, and important for you is, it wasn't just for you. It, I mean, you both suffered, clearly. Um, yeah. So their karmic challenge is overcoming whatever shame may be built into that so that they don't you know stay in the complacency of it all that they do take the action and push forward so that the devil energy doesn't win out doesn't have a stranglehold on something so beautiful So free will wins over shadow. Same damn card. Look at it. Same card. Opportunity, Eight of Cups. What is happening? No, 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 no. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Happiness over fear. If we wanna if we wanna be happy, right? We kinda gotta listen to intuition and override the fears and worries and insecurities and apprehensions about what we don't know. You know, especially when it comes to tension, conflict, drama. We have to, we have to leave that in the rearview mirror. We have to take with us what we learned from this experience on an emotional level. It's cups. And turn our back on the shit that doesn't matter. Because when we think about the Eight of Cups, keep in mind, it's the Eight of Cups. What do we want? We want the Ten. Well, what's missing? There's a blank space, there's a blank space. Eight, and what is 10? Two, we're looking for the two of cups. The coupling, the partnership, the soulmate. So we're still journeying to get back to each other. And I'm feeling like that's the opportunity is to, to put our face to the sun here, says the fool, and, and to override the fear of potential drama and conflict and you know keep on keeping on the opportunity is to keep journeying toward the happiness and trusting our intuition that moon energy what we can't see doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean it will bite us divine guidance is the six of wands Divine guidance is, you know, if you have this vision of a future with this person, if you believe you're really meant to be together, like for the long haul, hold that within you, right? Like, like it says, set it as a seal upon your heart. But that stuff takes work, it takes dedication, it takes perseverance. Sometimes it's exhausting and pushes you to the limits of your tolerance, of your um, patience. Yeah, sometimes it requires a lot of compromise, negotiation, but the divine guidance is where there is compromise and negotiation and where there is focus and effort and attention and 
dedication and work and perseverance, there is usually abundance and success and legacy. When we're talking about life partnership, right? And it's not just all good things come to those who wait. It's not that. It's all, you know, all good things come to those who freaking work for it, struggle for it, and, and persevere. And yet it takes two. So we're still in the search for the two. We're still on the path, I should state, not in the we're still on the path for that, on the path for the happiness. That's the opportunity. And, and not getting lost in, in our fears of the conflict and the tension and what might bite us in the butt and all that. Nope, 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 nope. You, you got to stop looking in the past and they got to stop being preoccupied with you holding their feet to the fire for the crap storm they kicked up in, the, in that past. That is what I have. Yeah. Very intense reading for you. Uh, I'm going to give you the astrology in a second. And I'm also going to take it to the extended. I want to see this person in a little bit more detail. Um, so the links for that are below. And it's a different spread for the extended. I'm going to start out with a high vibration, low vibration for them. So you know what it looks like. So should you connect with them in any way, shape, or form, you'll sort of be able to tell what vibration you're dealing with so you know how to respond. It's a really good uh, spread, so we'll look at that. And the links for that are in the description box below, as I said. Um, hey, if you have been enjoying the readings, if they have been helpful in any way, if um, they've been confirmational, insightful, entertaining whatever and you haven't yet please do subscribe below and i do this at the end because i want to earn your subscription um i don't understand why people do it at the beginning or do the boxes that are floating all over the place in the middle of a rating which i find distracting i on the other hand want to earn your click for subscribe so that is my ask please subscribe so i can stay here on this platform and can Continue to keep this roof over my house that is this is my job this is what I do so thank you in advance for your consideration here you go we have got Queen of Wands is Aries devil is Capricorn the fool is the planet Uranus which rules Aquarius Knight of Cups Pisces Venus Empress is Venus Taurus and Libra We've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius from our Page of Swords. More Capricorn in the Queen of Pentacles. Um, the Fool is, I'm sorry, the Chariot is Cancerian energy. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, Sagittarius. Death card, Scorpio. The um, Lover's card is Gemini. Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Queen of Swords is Libra. The Sun is, uh, the Sun rules the sign of Leo. The Moon is um, Pisces. And I think that's all we've got. Did I say everything? Yes, I did. Thanks for joining me, Virgo. And um, I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a minute. Bye.